Hey guys, in today's video, let's create uh, a an alien head, um, kind of more of a concept art. And I hope you appreciate that font, the alien font uh, I found on top. Uh, I thought that was kind of cute. All right, so to uh, make the alien head, um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a um, simple sphere, a Dynamesh sphere. And as you're doing this, um, hopefully you're gonna do this uh, with me maybe at the same time. And the fun thing about concepting in ZBrush is that uh, there isn't a the right answer, right? You're just, um, my goal uh, with this uh, concept was just simply uh, stick to very basic, simple brushes and simply just creating kind of like a uh, idea of a character, right? And this is a great uh, way to quickly try something to see if you know if it's heading in the right direction or if you want to take it further and turn it maybe into a game character or, or a uh, short character all right so you can see uh, here I'm gonna start by just uh, creating kind of a interesting alien uh, head base shape and for uh, for the neck I just simply pulled the neck uh, out right out of the um, the mesh and you can see I'm not doing anything fancy I'm literally sticking to the basic Dynamesh 128 at very low uh, resolution and just kind of um, attempting to find a simple basic shape first before I start adding uh, any details and even when I was gonna thinking when I was gonna do the details I really did want to stay more on the simplified uh, side sometimes I feel like it's hard it's very easy to get complex really fast to add more and more uh, details using various alpha brushes but sometimes it's fun to just stay with something uh, elegant and maybe simple so you can see me just kind of literally just pulling the uh, body right out of the neck and uh, re-dynameshing it so again not doing anything uh, fancy at this point I decided to uh, start shaping the the bottom half of the character to feel a little more like an alien so I really wanted to have like a really long uh, neck that's what this is just kind of exploring and seeing how it feels and a lot of times when you're uh, creating a sculpt it's really important to just see how the shape uh, feels to you as an artist right and a lot of times if you are sticking to the concept art you don't really get a chance to explore some of the fun interesting shapes that might uh, come out from just simply playing around so to start adding the detail i wanted to um, i started with the lips and i have a lips uh, tutorial on how to do this that i made just a few days ago really um, and the best way to do it is just, as you can see, just make a blob of where you want your mouth to be. And you do need a little more resolution uh, for this part. So I did went from 128 to 360. And I think I stayed at 360. I never really went higher than this. But you can see very quickly, you can just create a blob of where you want the lips to be and just do like this, almost like a seagull uh, shape that you do uh, in the middle and then do uh, still with the Damien standards just do the bottom and the top lip so it literally takes seconds to create a mouth uh, using this technique then I just simply inflated the uh, the bottom lip and maybe a little bit of the top lip as well For the nose, I wanted to do something, uh, I wanted to, you know, give her uh, two nostrils, but at the same time, I really wanted to stay away from kind of a human nose where you got, you know, a very specific shape with the nostrils and the nose sticking up. So I was going for maybe making something uh, even more simple and simply just deflating the area and then just pinching it. And that kind of gave me a really interesting, unique, uh, shape and then 
for the rest of it I just simply pulled it out and I thought that was um, a really cool idea for a nose. And you can see so far I was literally only using inflate brush and uh, pinch and move so really basic 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 uh, brushes will allow you to be super powerful if you don't get uh, incredibly fancy uh, right away. For the eyes, um, I thought maybe I'll use sort of the same approach as I did with the lips. Maybe just uh, create an inflate uh, area and then just simply using uh, Damien's standard to find the uh, eye shape that I thought would work for like a elegant uh, female alien so I wanted to make them kind of large but at the same time also um, create kind of a fun interesting uh, angle so full-on like concepting just figuring out what I think might work I also wanted to do the uh, kind of the brow but I wanted to make it again something more extra you know extraterrestrial so it's kind of more interesting and I thought uh, something along these lines just using inverse Damien standard uh, totally works in this case. Using the move brush I'm just pulling in the uh, cheeks and again I'm trying to I'm attempting to find a uh, shape that is strong but at the same time kind of feminine so I wanted to make sure the uh, the jawline is not you know too strong like a like a masculine uh, you know male character just but at the same time something interesting and sharp And I definitely felt like the chin needs to be out more and maybe a little uh, pointier. And then just creating a little pinch on top to make it a little more uh, stylized. But again, uh, I'm gonna keep saying this because I think it's so important, especially for new ZBrush artists. Uh, I know there's six million uh, different brushes that you can use, but you can see, uh, that's what I'm trying to show, is that you can just use something so simple, uh, like move, pinch, uh, inflate, and create amazing, uh, unique, you know, designs that are not uh, super complex, right? Just like if you, grab real clay and you're just using maybe a few tools on your fingers um, it's all about finding the right shape and seeing it from different angles but it's not about using 6,000 different you know cutting tools right I feel like I wanted to add more uh, details to the top of the head so uh, there's different ways of doing it but I thought maybe it would be uh, fun to experiment with just dropping a, you know, like a circle, something round along the lines of the brow. And that's what, um, that's what I'm doing here. And it's a very cool way to add detail because if you do it uh, nice and, you know, slow, you can change the size of the shapes that you are uh, dropping down, right? Using drag and drop. And, or drag dot, I'm sorry. And uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful uh, way to create custom designs very quickly, but also uh, keep them super precise. I also knew the character needed ears, but um, I, uh, again, wanted to make sure something that is maybe unusual and definitely uh, 
you know, not too close to like a human ear, but at the same time, you know, had some similarities. So you have the shape of an ear maybe, but, and obviously, you know, a, a part of the ear that um, has like a indentation. So the character is listening or, or hearing, but at the same time, something unique and different. Uh, so I was kind of experimenting what can I do that is similar, but yet completely different. And then using the Damien standard, um, it's a cool way to add sharp edges. I want to make sure the eye is kind of like, you know, the, the gray alien kind of a um, eye where it's round. So I want to make sure I inflated that and didn't keep it um, too flat. Just a, an artistic uh, preference, but at the same time I needed to, to take, take my time and make sure, because I'm not Z remeshing this or anything, so I wanted to make sure I didn't keep the shape too uh, blobby or you know wobbly so you, you see me kind of taking the time and carefully um, expanding it to make it feel more uh, round now many times uh, when I when I work in ZBrush, I always say that it's a really great idea to switch between materials. So you can see me here switch to a different material that's something uh, a little darker and maybe holds the shadows a little better. And this uh, also allows you to see any imperfections that you might have in your sculpt. There are tons of uh, different uh, materials that you can pre-download that already exist, even from like the ZBrush website or you can just simply search for one and there's many different uh, ones that artists uh, freely give away. For the hair I just simply grabbed the snake hook and the trick with snake hook uh, when you're doing something like this where you're pulling out uh, geometry um, it's a really good idea to turn on Sculptures Pro so then the geometry will get kind of regenerated as you're pulling it out so it doesn't run out of resolution especially in my case because I don't I don't have my resolution uh, set to too, too crazy. I kind of want it to stay, you know, kind of nice and light for this concept. I didn't want to go too, uh, too high, too dense, right? And then once I pulled out the shape, I was able to just turn off Sculptures Pro and just using the um, shift, uh, just smooth out any uh, imperfections. To create some detail that is maybe is more part of the body and the shoulders, I wanted to again stay with something super simple, so just grabbing Damien Standard and just literally inventing kind of an alien anatomy. You know, I wasn't thinking of this as the characters wearing anything, I was thinking of uh, her as maybe that's her uh, body, you know, it kind of has something a little more, I'm not really sure what the word is, aquatic maybe, more like a fish. And then just, um, now I'm just simply using the pinch brush to make the edges a little sharper so they don't uh, look too clumsy.
After I finished the shoulders, I wanted to also add some more uh, details to the neck. Right now you can see uh, it doesn't really have much. And I was thinking maybe it would be uh, really interesting if the front of the neck of this uh, alien character had, you know, kind of a design almost like a, you know, like a dragon, right? But but in the neck, I thought that was, maybe that would look really cool and I think it totally works. Alright, and you can see me re dynamashing it and just smoothing it, out, smoothing it out a little bit, but not too much. So I wanted to maintain that detail, but at the same time, uh, try to keep it, you know, nice and clean, right? Alright, I think I was uh, pretty happy with the front of the character. I thought that, uh, again, looks simple enough and elegant enough where it's not too too detailed but at the same time uh you know interesting also felt like the back of the head needs a little more uh, love as well so you can see me here just kind of kind of staying true to the anatomy of what a human head would be right so you have the skull of the back part uh, kind of extruding a little more so i wanted to you can see this is a really interesting uh, point, is that even when you're creating uh, alien creatures or characters, you still have to rely on understanding of the basic uh, human anatomy, how, you know, where the certain big uh, bones are, so you know, um, and you can incorporate that into your design, and that always makes the character uh, a lot more believable, especially if it's something uh, wacky and unusual, right? You, uh, when someone looks at your design, uh, they can relate on some level to what you're doing by recognizing some of these uh, landmarks, right, on the body that everyone has. And then for the back of the neck, I thought it would be cool to drop uh, some, like a new, new shape that uh, maybe had some something a little more interesting. So that's pretty much it. At this point, I just uh, took the character, I exported uh, exported her out into uh, Maya and just rendered uh, her out uh, there. And I have a tutorial on how uh, to do that on my channel as well. So hopefully you uh, find this uh, interesting. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one.